This video is not made for kids. This is not a kid friendly video. There is adult language in this video not suitable for kids. With that being said, welcome back guys. Yes, I did take time off of making videos for YouTube. I was going through some stuff and I was just like, uh, I didn't really feel up to making videos. But, uh, well, I'm back. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let's start getting into this, right? So, for the most part, what we have here is kit versus car. One of my all-time favorite childhood TV shows. And, again, I mean, come on, car... You already seen the, the other video that I made a few months back. And now we're going to do car. We are going to talk about the episodes where this uh, comes out in, in the original series. And we're going to really look at the details here. So right off the bat, so we can get the review on the way and the review of car out of the way before we really get into talking more about him so let's open up look at that scanner beautiful let's open all like this let's open the car over here and yes these are 124 scale these are die cast with plastic and rubber tires and they are incredible. <laughs> they are freaking awesome. Um, again, I'm not going to go too much right here as in detail because you already did see that other video that I made. But we are going to do a lot of comparison. Comparison? <laughs> Comparing uh, kit to car as in mo model wise. Okay, so. Basically, again, what you have is the exact same engine, tires, and interior. The only difference is the colors. Okay, so... That's the exact same. What is different? Again, same tires, same body. What is different is the, obviously, the paint on the side. And the interior is different. Now, it's the same interior, different paint. So, let's try and show you this as best I can. You can see right there that Kit has a light beige tan interior. Car has a... a I guess a deeper, rich, tan interior. So if we put them again side by side, you can see light, dark. They do have the same license plate, which I do believe should say night, uh, what is it, California night, with a blue and a yellow. And um, that's about it, really, for the most part, again, for the interior. Everything else is the exact same. So there you go. Uh, if you want to look underneath, let's close it up. little hard there <laughs> very very cool <laughs> so again this is kits again 124 scale 1982 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. It doesn't say Trans Am, but that is what this car is. There's the rest. There's the batteries. Rocket boosters. And again, everything else is the exact same, which you will see on car.
There it is. 1982, Pontiac Firebird. Universal Studios. Battery. Rocket boosters. And all of that. Okay. Now that that is over, if you really want to know more about it, let's talk much more about this particular uh, car versus kit, or kit versus car, really. So, in the original series, car was made before kit. Car stands for Night Automotive Roving Robot. It was the very first prototype of what this is they spent millions of dollars back in the 80s and it was again I mean not even today you have cars like this now yes you do have Tesla's <laughs> okay you have GPS and Siri and all this stuff but to have an actual kit an actual real life kit that's still, you know, a, a computer that is an actual living AI that actually talks back, that actually, you know, can hold a conversation and much, much more. Basically like a human, but a robot style. A cyborg, if you will. And yes, you have things like this, but it's not what this show was really about okay you come it's it came a long way now i'm not gonna lie it came a long way <laughs> but yay you know for the most part we thought we were gonna have flying cars by the year 2000 plus and we still don't so there you go <laughs> okay so very first episode it was in season one okay season one Episode 9, Trust Doesn't Rust. Okay. Now, in this episode, um, Kit and Michael Knight find out that there was another uh, Kit out there. In the, in the very original... Um, episode where car does come out he has the exact same scanner the exact same paint job as kit basically it looked ex identical like kit the only difference was the voice synthesizer if I can speak <laughs> and that was voiced by the man that voiced Optimus Prime back in the original G1 Transformers. That was the only way you could tell if it was Kit or, or Car. And the second episode was where they decided, you know what? Instead of having the exact same look like as in having two kits, let's change the, the paint job. Let's change the scanner. Um, and that should be enough to distinguish kit versus car. So, in the very first episode, you got to understand, again, kit was the improvement. He was like the 2.0, really. This was the very first uh, Night Industries uh, Trans Am, or, again, car. Now... It was not his fault that he was supposedly evil, right? Now, they say that he was evil not because of anything honestly really bad. It was just that he was programmed, okay, to look out for himself before human life. So, when it came down to it, as if, you know, let's say that Kit was never around. They never improved on car. Now, again, I can't really say they improved car or they were going to or whatever like this, but 
basically what happened was they're like, oh, we did a boo-boo. Okay, you know what? Let's, uh, let's just turn him off, scrap it. Let's start with a new Trans Am, which was Michael Long's 1982 Trans Am, black and gold. Okay, now, with that being said, let's go back here. When they did this, when they programmed, they spent millions of dollars making car. <sighs> so much to talk about, I'm going to try to really bunch it all together. They, let's say that Michael Knight piloted car. If Michael Knight was in danger, car would say, well, it sucks to be you, and back out. <laughs> you know, because, again, he was programmed to look out for himself. Again, millions of dollars were spent to develop this car here. So when they found out that car was not really what you wanted out in the field, they said, you know what, we identified as... We know what we, we, my God, if I can talk, sorry guys. We know what we did was wrong. We programmed it the wrong way. So, eh, you know, we'll scrap it. We'll uh, put it in a storage facility and turn it off and that'll be the end of it. And we'll start all over again, which was again, uh, kit, which would be Knight Industries 2000, which was again the proto, the upgrade to car, and that's what made uh, the show. That's what made everything. As in, uh, he was programmed to look out for human life, and most importantly, uh, Michael Knight's uh, life, most of all. So that's what made um, Kit so, uh, I mean, perfect. A perfect Kit car. Now, with that being said, that's how he was defeated. So when Michael was playing Kit, playing Kit, was playing chicken <laughs> with car, again... Two made the exact same, painted the exact same as in the paint itself, made a shell harder than titanium, harder than any known, um, how do you say, known thing in existence, really. So, if you have two opposing uh, items going to collide... What would happen? Who knows? So Michael played chicken with Carr, and Carr veered off, went off a uh, cliff, and fell into the ocean. Which, again, comes out again in Season 3, Episode 5. All right. So in this episode, again, that's when they, when the producers were thinking, you know what, to have two cars that look identical, yeah, that's not pretty cool. You know what, let's change it up a little bit. Let's give car more of a distinctive look. Let's color the bottom half of the car in silver. And let's change the scanner to a lighter uh, color than red. Let's make it yellow or an orange, really. Orangish yellow, either way. And um, yeah, that should be enough to make it different than Kit. And they only did this for the, the viewers, the actual show. Because again, in the very original, uh, the very first episode car looked identical to kit same scanner same paint job interior everything so in season three they made it this way so um 
how did they beat Carr in this episode? Well, eventually they said, you know what, he's getting more reckless, he's getting more dangerous, you know what, let's just blow him up. <laughs> so they did. Uh, they, uh, I believe Bonnie, gave uh, Michael Knight and Kit a laser. He could only use it, I want to say three times, maybe twice. But the first time, I believe, hit the hood of the car and it bounced off. But he, they were aiming for right in the middle of the scanner. And from right there, it would short circuit the, the hard drive and then blow it up. So that's what they did and that's what happened. <laughs> so there you go. But for the most part, again, guys, this is an incredible uh, 124 scale model die cast of car. And if you are a super fan, not even a super fan, if you just grew up with the show, watching the show, I know there are some guys that they hated, uh, they hated the, the, what is it, the third gen Firebird Trans Am because it looked like this car, like Kit, and they're like, oh no, uh, I hate it, I don't like it, which I don't know, I honestly don't understand, I think it's freaking awesome, I love it, I, I mean, I have my car, I love it, um, I have a buddy that's making his into actual kit, and he's telling me I should make mine like car, with the same paint job as in black and silver, I'm not... 100% sure I want to go down that route, but the more I look at them, the more I'm thinking, hell yeah. <laughs> My buddy needs the front fenders, which would have this, the heat extractors, and he also needs the, the hood as well, as my 91 Firebird has already the heat extractors and the hood as well, as well as the PMD seats. The other thing I wanted to mention really quickly, if I did not mention this already, car and kit, I don't remember if car was hardtop or not, but kit was a hardtop. In case you guys say, no, 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 kit was always T-top or convertible. Um, uh, actually, Kit, there was, I believe, I want to say 13 to 15, uh, Firebirds and or Trans Ams in the show that they would switch over from time to time because, again, he was always jumping, he was always getting crashed, he was always getting repainted and body work and all this. I mean, it's a hard show. Look at the Dukes of Hazard. They had, I don't know how many, uh, Chargers to have every other week or every other month or whatever i think it was every other week but either way so yeah i mean really guys it took a beating kit did have a hard top they made it look like they riveted on a t-bar here and here on the hard top you see that on i believe night of the juggernaut where i believe that's the episode i could be wrong but where the ramming uh, rod hits the corner of the top of the roof, you'll see it crumple instead of the, having the, the glass shatter. The other thing was that in those cars, most of all of them were V8s. There was one that was a V6. Most of all of them were V, I'm sorry, um, automatic transmissions. And there was one that was a standard, a five-speed manual transmission. So, with all that being said, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this review. And really quickly, let's look at this. <laughs> Alright, guys. Talk to you later. I'll make another video. Bye, guys.